Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirby. We're going to be talking about subtelogyte and the subtelogyte range of motion. The subtelogyte consists of two bones, talus and the calcaneus. Between those two bones are the three articular facets, the posterior, middle, and anterior facet of the subtelogyte. During subtelogyte supination, the talus glides posteriorly on the posterior facet of the calcaneus. Here we go into supination, opening up the sinus tarsi. As the subtail joint pronates, the tatus glides anteriorly and inferiorly and hits maximally pronate position where the lateral process of the talus here hits the floor of the sinus tarsi here. So the maximum pronation is where the lateral process of the talus hits the floor of the sinus tarsi at the maximum pronate position. Neutral position is going to be where the posterior facets are most congruent at approximately this position here. So maximum supination, the talus glides posteriorly and superiorly on the calcaneus. Pronation is where the talus glides anteriorly and inferiorly ending up at the maximum prime position where the lateral process of the talus hits the floor of the sinus tarsi of the calcaneus.